This video shows how you can work with the quick selection tool and different types of gradients to create a simple abstract design. So to start, I just created a new default size Pixelmator Pro document and I just kind of scribbled with the paintbrush tool um, in a way that created several different sections. And then I just got the quick selection tool and clicked inside one area. And if it's on the, um, the new option there, if that's the one that's selected, it'll start over with a brand new selection each time you click and it'll get rid of the old one, which is fine. But if you want to add on to it, then you've got to change the mode to add mode and then it will add on to your selection. And then to put a gradient in the part that you have selected, all you have to do is choose your gradient fill and just click and drag. And of course you can do that, you know, multiple times until you get it to look the way you want. Uh, and then if you want to deselect, make the dotted lines, the marching ants go away so you can select a different area, Command D will let you deselect so then the next selection won't include that area. So just go in and select whatever other parts you want to work with. And then maybe choose a different color gradient. Of course you can also customize them. So let's say you wanted to make that fuchsia more, more purple, then you can just change it by clicking on that little tab. And this one I'm going to do a radial gradient which is more of a circle kind of fanning out. So the first one was a linear gradient, this one's a radial gradient. And then we'll deselect, command D, and make a new quick selection in a different area. Just click and drag. It's on add mode so the next time I click it won't get rid of it, it'll just add on to that selected area wherever you want. And then let's do another gradient fill and we can um, choose a different type of gradient just so you can see what they all do. Uh, maybe a different color as well. Maybe we could do this but change the green to I don't know, more aqua green, okay. And then let's do the angle gradient. So that one leaves a sharp line between one color and another. So just try them out. It's a really quick way just to understand how they work and it ends up looking cool also. 